Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. Uh, during this Lent, we would always hear this phrase, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. And it's from Hebrews chapter 3, verse 15. And you would also hear that in the Gospel when Jesus criticized the, the Pharisees because of their hardening of hearts. And this hardening of hearts, uh, we've heard this first in Exodus. Okay? In Exodus, as you remember, when uh, Moses is about to liberate the Israelites from, from the Egypt, it's Hebrews chapter, uh, Exodus chapter 4, verse uh, 20. The Lord said to Moses, When you go back to Egypt, see that you do before Pharaoh all the miracles which I have put in your power, but I will harden his heart so that he will not let the people go. Okay? So, uh, I'm, I've been joining with um, some of my family and friends, and we're following uh, Father Mike Smith's uh, Bible in a year. And we just finished the book of Exodus a uh, few days ago. And one of the questions that was raised in our group was that, why would God harden the hearts of Pharaoh? Okay, and, and, and I said, you know, the, the Lord does not want the, the heart of Pharaoh to be hardened, uh, but he permitted it so that he would uh, show his signs and wonders. Okay, but um, in my Exodus 90 program, uh, we're also uh, studying the book of Exodus. And uh, in, that, uh, in that Exodus 90 program, we have this meditation that really explained it very well. So I'll just read it to you. So it says here in the meditation, To understand this, think of butter and clay in the hot sun. Each substance responds in its own way to the same sun. The butter melts and the clay hardens. The sun is not discriminating between the two substances. The difference in each substance's nature causes the difference in response. Moses leads the Israelites to respond to God's action like butter. Over time, God's presence melts their hearts and they choose to honor his greatness. Pharaoh looks upon the same acts of God and responds to God like clay in pride and with increased resistance to God's will. God's presence hardens his heart. Okay? Uh, if God is truly who he says he is, then Pharaoh's position is false. If God is God, Pharaoh is not God. Okay? So uh, maybe something to meditate upon our uh, our Lenten journey, you know, do we have a heart of clay or a heart of butter? Okay, and uh, because uh, uh, it says here it's in the substance, you know, where it will harden or it will melt. I hope uh, we have a heart of butter, uh, especially as we uh, undergo repentance and as we obey the will of God, because He alone is God. Be a living saint, Jesus, Mary, Joseph. We trust. 